Good evening, YouTube. Carrie here. Hey, um, a lot of people have requested a TMJ video since I am a TMJ victim. Who better, right? No, just kidding. Um, anyway, the number one cause of TMJ is extraction orthodontics. Um, you ask any occlusion specialist, and they're going to tell you that. You ask any functional orthodontist, they're going to tell you that. You ask a traditional orthodontics, and they'll say you're nuts. It doesn't exist. There's no case studies. So, ball's in your court. But anyway, um, why you would get TMJ from braces is because your jaw is moved backwards. Your mandible is forced backwards, forcing your lower teeth nowhere to go but backwards. And that moves your mandible backwards. In my case, it moved behind my ear, causing popping, snapping immediately. However, well, I started experiencing that around 14. Um, orthodontist completely blew me off on that. Well, why should he bother? You know, my parents signed an orthodontic consent form that pretty much let them full range everything. Um, but anyway, the jaw popping started about 14. The um, the pain didn't start till about 24, though. I guess that's when your jaw's supposed to stop growing for an average person. Unfortunately, mine um, didn't get to grow fully because it was all forced backwards uh, as a child. But anyway. Okay, there's several ways you can get TMJ from extraction orthodontics. First of all, when you remove a 6 to 8 millimeter tooth, you probably didn't need 6 to 8 millimeters to straighten your teeth, the remaining teeth out. Um, so it's, it's really silly because you probably needed about 2 millimeters and now you've removed 8. So what happens with the other 6 millimeters is everything else gets pushed backwards, um, especially when you move your lower teeth backwards. Um, your upper teeth backwards, I'm sorry, your lower teeth have nowhere to go but behind them. Um, when that's moved backwards, your mandible is forced backwards, in my case, behind my ear. Where it sits now? Where it should sit? Okay. So, like, if I bite a sandwich, as far as I can open my mouth in the position um, my jaw's in now, I'll show you. Okay, that's it. Now, I'm going to let it pop, pop, and open all the way. Okay, closing that on a straight axis puts me to here. Okay, to get it to sit so my teeth meet. Pop, pop, and I'm there. Okay, so when the mandible is forced backwards, these muscles in here start having spasms, and it gives you a chronic headache. Also, when your jaw is forced backwards like that, it causes you to lean forward a lot, which instead of relaxing backwards, you lean forward. Um, what that does, too, is that creates neck tension, lower neck. It's like right about here. It's really sore all the time for me. Also, I have shoulder pain very frequently because of this. Um, that's one way TMJ can be caused from orthodontic work is just simply by moving the teeth back. Also, tipping them into unnatural positions is the other way. And I'm going to show you, because I have kind of have both of the symptoms that would lead to this. Um, what I mean by tipping to unnatural positions is, um, we're going to concentrate on my first molars, that when they came in, they came in in um, this position, where the root was here and the tooth was wide, um, causing a, a normal size arch. But when they collapsed my arch in, they actually had these tubes on the molar bands. I can't even, I was trying to figure out what they were called, so I googled all like the molar band websites just to see, and I, I couldn't get the name. But anyway, they put the molar band on that made the bracket on the next tooth come farther out than this first molar. So therefore, that first molar is actually farther inward than the molar underneath it on the bottom row, which is completely messed up. But I guess it was just a cheap way to give me straight teeth and move on to the next patient. Okay, so. See how that tooth is kind of inward from the lower one? Okay. Um, it's totally lean inward. I'm going to show you inside in a sec here. Let's see if I, how well this turns out. Okay, yeah, probably not going to work too good. Okay.
All right, well, you can see the premolar here, and you can see the first molar here. It's leaning inward. It sinks in big time from the tooth in front of it. Um, what that did was that took it from this position to this position, so it's leaning inward. Okay, that would be kind of like um, I'm just forcing a bone in the wrong position. And see, now my jaw has to compensate for that, and that's not the position it wants to bite in at all. Okay, that's the other way you can get TMJ from orthodontic work. But you can get TMJ from orthodontic work even if you don't have extractions. Just if you have extractions, it's a lot more likely because um, they're going to have that uh, 4 to 6 millimeters that you really didn't need of excess space, and they got to get rid of it. So everything will be forced backwards. I don't know um, why they're doing this still. I have no idea, but I just wanted to put this video out there. So anybody remotely considering getting this work done would at least see what will happen in the future. Um, I talked to a couple of occlusion specialists. They said the most common trait in all their patients is they um, are ex-orthodontic patients that either had two or four teeth removed. Um, unfortunately, traditional orthodontists still don't believe that um, that you can get TMJ from extraction orthodontics is even possible. Well, of course not, because that's their industry, that's their business. And they would want to remove four teeth versus working with all the teeth you have because they're going to get a referral from the person that referred, they referred you to, the oral surgeon. And they're also going to have um, an easier job rather than seeing how to expand for the proper space so you can get your face into the proper proportions. Um, a lot of people say a mile away, you can tell people that don't have a full set of teeth. Well, you, you can pretty much see just by looking at me, there's no way I would have a full set of teeth because um, in here is a lot more full. When you get to this half of my body, it looks missing. But, eh, what can I do? Um, okay, have a great night, guys. Aloha.